what we really want to talk about, we want to talk about not necessarily products and the stuff we sell, you can see that online all you want, um, but uh, it more about the people, not just uh, ourselves, um, but also it, all the people that, that make the jewelry for us and all the people that, that order it, the customers. Um, so if you own a business or if you're lucky enough to own a business, um, then y you'll know that you know, the product or the service that you're selling is, is, is important and one of the most important things that, that's involved in your business, but it's that the people uh, that, that become the most important thing. So anyway, um, I, I want to talk about the people, but it, like, I, I figured the easiest way to do it was in context of this bracelet which just came in. Um, this was ordered by uh, a customer of ours who's been with us for over 10 years. So they had seen the, uh, the bracelet in our store the, uh, the, the really thick museum cuff bracelet. They really liked that bracelet because it had these hand-painted enamels that went so well with the gold and, and it has this really kind of interesting combination of colors and, and vibrancy to it. They wanted to know if we could do something with, uh, with hand-painted enamels that might be a little bit more wearable, a little bit more comfortable. Um, some that give them options with uh, with a reversible look of some kind. So I went back and forth with them a couple times. Um, we came up with some new ideas. Finally, we we arrived at the idea of doing the uh, the diamond block uh, chain bracelet uh, from Damascus, which is just like this, except that it's only one panel and then all chains to the end. He has. Three children. They they have three children, um, and uh, and they wanted to have paintings that symbolize those children, and they wanted the paintings to be religious icons, with inscriptions beneath them. So this turned into a really seriously difficult get for us. Not only did we we have to go back and talk to Damascus and and ask him if he could do three uh, panels instead of one. Um, they, they could. Uh, the, the difference in how they did it though, because the, the, the normal panel curves a little bit um, and they had to go with smaller ones that were flat so that it would play on the wrist a little bit more uh, equally, so, or better anyway. Anyway, so, so Damascus had to make change to their product and then we had to find somebody to do the hand-painted enamels. My research took me to Tbilisi, Georgia of all places. That's not like where Atlanta is, not that Georgia. It's the country of Georgia, which is over, uh, it's halfway between Turkey and Russia. It's on the Black Sea, we'll show a map. In Tbilisi, Georgia, they are known for their cloison enamel and, uh, and also for their hagiography, which is the art of painting icons. Um, so I had to find somebody that could do both of those things. And we found somebody. Uh, and, and as a matter of fact, uh, that, that actually the trail took us back to Athens because that's, that's where they live now. But they are Georgians who are living in Athens. So all the way back. <laughs> so so uh, the gentleman took a shot at it. His name is Zarab. I've made friends with him. Uh, he made like two or three different, no, about three or four different copies of, uh, or tests of, uh, of St. Basil, uh, this guy before finally we, we, we looked at it and said, okay, you know, the, the intricacy is there, the color's there, the color blending is there, the gold use is there. It, he really nailed it. Uh, so we, uh, we took a photograph of that. We sent it to Oklahoma, to our customer to take a look. I said, is this good enough for you? I think it's probably as good as we're going to get. The customer was happy about it. Sent us an email back saying, go for it. So we made two more. One is a baptism of Christ and one is a uh, spirit on. Um, so... Uh, he made these two more icons, took them up to Damascus. Damascus modified his entire design for this bracelet just to fit these icons. And, uh, and, and here we are. Regardless of what it is, it's, it's always a get. It might be a tough get like that bracelet, but it's always a get. It's always something that's not like just there for the taking that you can walk down the street and buy it. No, it's, you're getting it from Athena's, you've got to, you know, we're going to find out the right ring size for you. We're going to find out where you want the citrine, where you want the iolite. We're going to find out everything you need 
uh, and what you want inscribed on the side. And then we're going to have it custom made in Greece and we're going to have it sent over and, you know, and then delivered to you. Things do take two or three weeks, but what you wind up with is, is something special. And it, it, it's, it's special because everybody involved is, is, is somebody whose name you'll hear. You'll hear mine. We'll hear your name. The customer, the, the designer uh, will hear your name. Everybody knows who everybody is, why it's being ordered, where it's going, all that stuff. Um, it's, it's special. It's, people are involved and, and, and everybody has a goal uh, when, they're, when they're making something for you.